Capitol today saying they will fight to retain the right to bear arms. This was part of a national movement in support of the rights of gun owners. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live in Olympia where she says one state legislator promised to take this fight to his colleagues. Deborah. Michelle, he's David Taylor, a Republican from Yakima. He told the crowd assembled here he will soon introduce legislation to further protect the rights of gun owners in Washington state. That our rights come from God, not from the government. The words of the state legislator from Yakima echoed across the lawn of the state capitol, filled with signs of protest. The government did not give us those rights, and it cannot take them away. He delivered that message to this audience of gun rights advocates who braved the cold and drear of this January day to take a stand on what they declared is the sacred right to bear arms. This is our line in the sand. No further. We will not go quietly into the night. No line brought into sharp relief after the recent shootings in Newtown, Connecticut and closer to home in Clackamas, Oregon. Those here say the deadly shootings upset them too. But I feel it's something that's being exploited by gun prohibitionists uh, uh, to try to take away the rest of our important rights. To that end, David Taylor said he will soon introduce the Firearms Freedom Act. And that legislation includes the statement any federal rule, law, regulation, or order attempting to ban or register firearms or magazines unenforceable in Washington State. Yeah! It is music to the ears of protester Linda Seiler, part Cherokee, part white. Ever since these shootings have happened, it's really taken away from the preamble of the Second Amendment, which says that our Second Amendment is about keeping our government from infringing on us. Now, we did find two people here who have a very different opinion. We're working on their part of this story for you tonight at 530. Thank you, Deborah. We'll see you then.